Station, 1370 WOCA. Five minutes after nine o'clock. Thank you for tuning in. Cancer is one of those words that you hope you never hear again. Every once in a while, there's some good news regarding cancer. Um, the Colorado Rockies pitcher, baseball pitcher, Chad Bettis, is expected to return today to the game after battling testicular cancer for a while there. And uh, so, you know what? We're making progress with this disease that was once considered a death sentence. And one of the reasons we're making progress is because we have great people um, doing research. But that research can't be done without money. And uh, so that's what we're going to talk about. Ann Zalek is in the studio and is with the Ocala Royal Dames. And they are one of those groups that does amazing fundraising for uh, research into cancer. So let's say good morning to Ann Zalek. Good morning, Ann. Good morning. Nice Thank you. to meet the better half of Carl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I always say he's a better man than I am, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> You're amazing. Well, uh, we throw the man part in and he's got it for sure. The, yeah, yeah I, I know. <laughs> I was going to say, that kind of goes without saying it. Um, well, thank you for being in the studio with us. And we were talking a little bit off the air about the fact that everybody knows somebody who has had to deal with cancer, maybe themselves. Um, we all probably have somebody we can think of that was close to us that has died. And we also have some people who we know who have survived. So uh, it's, it's, it's an amazing thing that you ladies do at, at the Ocala Royal Dames. It's, uh, the amount of money you raise is unbelievable. It's mind-boggling. Yes, we've raised over $3 million to date wow. since the inception of our organization in 1986. So um, we are making a difference, and we are seeing victories. And one of the reasons why I'm a dame is because of that very story, Larry, that you were talking about, that we all know someone who's had to battle this dreadful illness. And actually, I've had my mom, my dad, but most, um, I think, probably dramatic for me was my nephew. My younger brother's first son was born hmm. to him his last year of college. And we all know how much money a college student has, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so he and his wife got married that last year, and they had a kid right off the bat unexpectedly. And at three weeks old, he was diagnosed with neuroblastoma cancer. Oh, oh. my goodness. It, yeah, it is a very rapidly progressing cancer. It is super life-threatening. Very few children survive it. And it was just devastating. My little brother... He's to this day one of the best men I know since he was like in high school, just always a gentleman, the kind of guy you think, hey, God should just bless this guy and yeah, have yeah. the perfect life. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he wanted to have like eight kids, but here he is with his very first kid. He's, he's managed to have two um, that has this dreadful disease. And, you know, it's that moment when you find yourself face to the ground, like, yeah, yeah, th yeah. there's what hope is there. Right, right, right. But there was a group in Ann Arbor, Michigan, that does the, the funding that the dames do here in Ocala. Right. And that's why I'm a dame, is to pay this wonderful story. Don't worry if you're listening, the story's going to be great. It's going to turn out great for my little <laughs> nephew, Nolan. So how old is um, he now? He is now nine. Nine, okay. He can, he can compete with my kids. He's in karate. Is he, is, is cancer he, passed? They is, say he, that he is recovered. Recovered, Which okay. is a, weird, okay. a word that is rarely used, but he was able to be in a research study group, <laughs> like what we fund. Um because it was funded for him, where he got individualized care. Mm -hmm. And they monitored the little um, amount of chemo that he got just for his little body. My goodness. Yeah, and it was just, it was world-class care, very expensive. So My, you, you became a so dame because of this? Because of this. Because wow. we have four healthy kids. And I know it makes a difference in the lives of family. My nephew is here today because somebody did this for him. Yeah. And yeah, so yeah. I want to be that hope. For other people, I know how I know what that feels like. So whenever I hear a story like that, my first question is, well, how can I help you? And you've got something this Saturday that we can help you with, right? Absolutely. We are having a tailgate fundraiser, and it's going to be so much fun. And, you know, your cancer affects everyone in a negative way, but football affects so many Americans in a positive right, way. Right, right, right. And it's something that we love and enjoy and share with our family. So Saturday, 19th, at... Um, Six o'clock, it's from six to 11. 
Um, we're just going to have a great time. If you want tickets, you can go to our website, ocalaroyaldames.org, and you can get your tickets there. And um, this is going to be a lot of fun, and we're going to raise a lot of money. So w tell me again, this is going to be where? where? It's going to be, I'm sorry, at the Country Club of Ocala. Okay, Country Club of Ocala. Mm -hmm. That's south of Ocala, right? If I remember right? It it's, is. It's south of Ocala. Mm -hmm. um, a little and, bit. And so $75 per person, and... Um, and what can we expect? We the food, obviously. Yeah, we're gonna have, and we're gonna have. Um, we've got a live DJ. We're gonna have a band there. We've got things like cornhole and mm -hmm. um, so I think a little bit of golf and. Um, Trying to blank. <laughs> yeah, music. Will you have yeah, some? Like, somebody play music. Yeah, yeah. 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 we do the band. fight songs. That's what I was gonna say. Oh, oh I get it. We always like. There's a little bit of jeering that goes on. Right, right, friendly. Right, right. Oh, for you know, competition. We all sing the fight songs to right, each yeah. other. Yeah. Um, and we're gonna have a photo booth there, set up with some really silly things, so that we can, uh, you know, post that on Facebook and let everybody know that we are gonna be the game changers. And I, I want to ask wow. you this: If somebody, if there was a lady listening and she said, you know, I would love to be a part of that group. What, what do you do? As a group, is is your complete one hundred percent of your time spent on raising money for cancer research? We are a very focused group. That it's, is it's what very we focused. do. That, that's the thing. That's that, the whole mission. That right is there. What, to end cancer in our lifetime. <clears throat> is that right? Wouldn't well, that be I, phenomenal? I, oh my gosh, yes. And and it's, you know we do the news every day, and it seems like every once in a while there's a story about a certain type of cancer that is defeated. Mm -hmm. So there's like little tiny uh, bits of hope, right? Uh, that some cancers are defeated, but in all, in all, the, the big the big word cancer. We still it, have a lot of fighting to do. Yeah, but our group has been very instrumental in helping to defeat two of those cancers right here in our local community, mm -hmm. from Shands and from Moffitt. The um, small cell lung cancer um, treatment that is happening today uh -huh. happened because of a seed grant given by the Royal Dames. Wow! Wow! To Dr. Sherry Pylon Thomas, and so she was the one who uh, who figured out what to do. Correct. Wow. See, why do we know the rock stars' names? We don't know that name. I well, that this is a good point. <laughs> yeah. Our lives depend upon people like this. Yeah. So what's her name again? Her name is Dr. Sherry Pylon Thomas, and she's up in Gainesville. She's up in Gainesville. Oh my gosh, I didn't have. Oh, no I'm so sorry. She's at Moffitt. Yay, Moffitt. Moffitt. We go both. Moffitt. That's we in Tampa. Moffitt and Shans. That's in that's in Tampa. Okay, okay. I got it confused with the next one, which is up in Gainesville. Mm -hmm. That's Dr. Julie Bradley, and she's done amazing work with breast cancer and photon therapy. Which oh. Yes, That's new. And we helped seed that, and now it's become so important her work that there is no more control group in her studies. What is photon therapy? Oh my therapy? gosh! Yeah, so if you go there, you will get her treatment. What is photon what therapy? What it what it does is it allows them to target the area spe more specifically that oh, has the cancer, I see. Uh -huh. and so the radiation to the heart, like especially with breast cancer, right, that's right, what right. she focuses on. That's a huge thing for us women. And uh, quite often, the effects of the radiation on the heart and the surrounding organs would be so severe yes, that yes. you might not survive that, even if you recover from the cancer. Right. But with her study, the I saw the charts. It's unbelievable. It reduces it to almost nil, mm -hmm. the amount on your other organs that are going to be affected. It, and, and you ladies don't just have fundraising events. You actually go to where the patients are. You see the patients firsthand. You talk to the doctors firsthand. You see the progress of the treatments. So there have to be some times where it's sad for you. Yeah, you can take tours. You know, you do see sadness, but I think probably because of my nephew's recovery, mm -hmm. in every struggle, I still see the hope. And, in, you know, until it's over, it's not over. Mm -hmm. And so we're right here standing in this gap right now today. Please, if you want to, join us. You can join us. We've got over 200 members, and um, and we could all work on this together. Yeah, we were invited to uh, the Battleman's, Battle Cattle, Cattle Baron's, Baron's Ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, Sharon Jank and her family uh, made it a very touching um, presentation. They were talking about their own battles with cancer. Mm -hmm. And, uh, gosh, you, you just never know. I think her husband had cancer. He's a dentist, right? Yeah. He, no, he's an eye doctor. Eye doctor. And yeah. he had cancer because he was, that's right, he was close to his patients. He was worried about his breath, and he kept using mouthwash after every patient. And that alcohol, 
he said uh, was what he blamed for the cancer. For the cancer. He had. Wow. Mm-hmm. The, their whole family, I know, it was not just Sharon and her husband, but also a young daughter who's recovered from cancer. Wow. wow. And sometimes you don't know you have it. Uh, six years ago, my husband went into his doctor for a cold. He came out with lung cancer. They removed his entire left lung, and now he's in September. He'll be cancer free for six years. So I mean, you don't really know when it's going to strike you. That is true, but that is a celebration. Mm-hmm. And, you know, yay that your husband is here. Absolutely, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, let's take a little break. Ann Zalek is in the studio from the Ocala Royal Dames. They uh, do cancer research. And I, I never even asked that question if that was 100% of what you do. Oh, you can come Aww, in. They, they come in. Are they, are they, 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 they want to come in? They're okay. They can sit next to you. They have them sit next to you. They'll be fun. They'll be on the video. They can watch the video later on. Okay. Yeah. All right, we'll take a little <laughs> break, and we'll today. be right back with Ann. It looks like we're going to have some other little guests in the studio. We'll be right back. The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. On this Monday, more clouds than sun with a shower or thunderstorm around in the afternoon. A high 89 to 93, then partly cloudy Monday night, low 74 to 78. Partly sunny Tuesday with a thunderstorm in spots, mainly during the afternoon hours over the interior, high 90 to 94. For Wednesday, times of clouds and sun with a couple of showers and a thunderstorm in the afternoon, the high 90 to 94. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. The very best in quality is Captain T's upholstery. Hey, this is Dan. Let me ask you a few questions. Does your boat look better with the cover on? Has your car's interior seen its better days? Stop using a towel to cover up those rips in the golf cart. Isn't it about time you had it restored to better than new with a custom upholstery from Captain T? Captain T's upholstery has been right here in Ocala for nearly 20 years, so they know how to make your ride one of a kind. Whether you want to take that classic ride back to a factory look or put your favorite sports team front and center, Captain T's Upholstery is who to call. 352-369-1810. That's 352-369-1810. Or stop by their location, 5030 South Pine Avenue in Ocala, just past the drive-in. And of course, don't forget to visit them on the web, CaptainTUpholstery.com. The very best in quality is Captain T's Upholstery. Howdy folks, R.L. here from Dairy Queen again to tell you about what's hot and what's not. Dairy Queen has some of the best char-grilled chicken breasts on earth as well as their chicken breast salad. And the burgers are exceptional, cooked on a real grill for the best flavor and less fat. And for dessert, blizzards are unequaled. Personally, banana split is my all-time favorite. Dairy Queen Silver Springs, where we always treat you like kings and queens. Feeling creative or looking for inspiration, the Appleton Museum of Art has something for you with a full schedule of studio art classes and workshops for adults, teens, children, and even pre-K. Classes begin as early as September and cover a broad range of subjects for all skill levels, including drawing, painting, clay, mixed media, sculpture, and more. For more information or to register, call 352-291-4455 or visit appletonmuseum.org. The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. On this Monday, more clouds than sun with a shower or thunderstorm around in the afternoon. A high 89 to 93, then partly cloudy Monday night, low 74 to 78. Partly sunny Tuesday with a thunderstorm in spots, mainly during the afternoon hours over the interior, high 90 to 94. For Wednesday, times of clouds and sun with a couple of showers and a thunderstorm in the afternoon, the high 90 to 94. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lunder. All right, 18 minutes after 9 o'clock. It's really a beautiful uh, Monday. Can you believe it's already 82 degrees? It's warming up quickly today. You know, I was saying that the uh, summer has been pretty mild. Um, We haven't reached the three digits at all, I thought. But the other day when I went to my bank, that little digital clock outside Uh the bank said 100. So I said, "Uh (laughs) uh-oh. There's the first three digit I've seen of this summer. But not too bad being this late in August already, right? All right. Well, let's talk about something a little more serious than the weather, and that is cancer. In in the studio, and Zalek, and joining us now are some beautiful young people, um, and these are your all your children, right? Good morning, everybody. Yeah, say good morning. Good morning. <laughs> I'll turn the microphones on. Uh, so is, is this your entire family other than Carl? Carl's the only one missing, huh? That's correct. So Carl, he's busy working, working, working. We got Carl the fourth here with us today. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, you want to say something? Let me turn it on. Go ahead, say something. Say good morning, Ari. Can you 
say it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> little one smiling like she's going to talk. But I guess she's <laughs> good morning. Hi, Bill. Oh, yes, say, say good morning. Go ahead, say good morning. Hello. Whoa, that was loud. Whoa, that was loud. All right. Uh, so let's, let's talk about this. So the Royal Dames, Ocala Royal Dames, work to help raise money. That money then goes to uh, research. How do you pick who gets the research money? Well, that's an exciting question because we pick them on odd number years in the fall, and that is coming right up. So what happens? Oh. Yes, every odd number year in the fall we pick, and what we pick we will stick with for two years. So they're going to get $25,000 this year and $25,000 next year, totaling $50,000 for each researcher. We'll pick about four of them. Uh -huh. um, we split it up between um, Moffitt and Shands, and we also do a little bit of work here at CF locally with their nursing staff and educating them on, on cancer and um, you know, just keeping quality people all around us um, to help those that are faced with this dreadful disease. Wow, wow. And so, so $25,000 is, is the fruits of your labor, things like this tailgate party on Saturday. Correct. I'm hoping that, that we'll at least be able to fund one whole project by the end of, um, by the end of this <laughs> Friday, if not two of them. Well, the researchers must really, truly be excited by this, and I'm sure they're making their projections on what they can use the money for, because that must be something yeah. that you base it on. Our research are, are the young folks in the field. They're the ones just coming out of college, and they've got an idea, and they've got a dream, and we usually get a dozen or so applications, and we sort through them. We've got a wonderful committee, some of our local doctors here that know what to look for. Um, obviously, with the success and the results of the people that we've sponsored, they know what they're yeah, looking yeah, for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and um, and so they can they can pull all that apart and know with without the seed money, it's seed money. We get them right at the beginning. It's when no one else will help them. No one else is looking for them. They either have to just go into the mod the practice that we have. Or they can create from their new vision of how cancer can be better cured. And so that's, those are the people we want to see, and we want to see more of that creation of new treatments. We have, uh, Robert and I have been involved in quite a few fundraisers in our years of doing radio because people will come to us, you do a radio show, could you help us raise money? And we always try to come up with a creative idea on how to do it. Some of them have been successful, some of them have flopped. How do you know before you uh, give it everything you've got how do you come up with the ideas like the tailgate parties that seems like a very creative and fun way to raise money thank you well that is that's what i love about being one of these girls and again if you want to be a member please ocalaroyaldames.org check it out and join us um and even on the 19th at the tailgate fundraiser if you want tickets they're 75 dollars each M majority of that money is going to go straight to this research come and join us um but to answer your question what was your question? The, qu the question was, how do you pick? How do you, like, is there a brainstorming session where you oh, say, what do you want to do? What do you want to do this time? How many events do you have a year? We only uh, really have the two. We have the Tierra Ball every year. Uh -huh. And so that's our staple event. And that's fancy, 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 fancy. Uh -huh. And so we like to do something... Um, Kind of reward our husbands for all yeah. of them. Yeah, oh, <laughs> but not okay. that we've got some dames that really love football too. Right. Um, but that's we. Our goal is to cure cancer in our lifetime and have fun have while fun doing, it. doing it. Well, it, that's it, right. You know what? It makes sense because when you give us something fun to do, us meaning the community, then we say, "Oh, we can go have fun." We may or may not even care that the money goes to help research, you know? And that's just the truth of it, right? Oh, I hope people care. I think people care. But too often at these events, they're very serious because the disease is serious. And then too many times, I think people feel like they need to act serious about raising money for it. Sure, right. But laughter right. is healing. I think so. You know, fun is a good thing to be so. had. So that's how we go about it. And one of the amazing things about the Ocala Royal Dames is someone in there has been touched by cancer, whether they're personally themselves or a family member. And I know we all know someone who is a dame, and she's been touched with cancer. She's going through treatments, but that doesn't slow her down. She still lives her life, and she's still helping others. Yeah, it's a great support group, too, I've found for women who are going through it. Um, to just be a part of this organization because you will have sisters all around you who care. Mm -hmm. So exactly. okay, so the party is seventy five dollars. Now tell me about the table decorating. Is that a different competition? Is there? Yeah, there's a contest within it. Um, we're always looking for you know raise those funds. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for so wait a minute, you said this is for the husbands. 
But husbands don't well, decorate tables. We're, they we eat, always them. have fun too, Do but they? they eat. They eat. And they have to have a pretty place to eat. No, they don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, I disagree. Well, the part that the husbands tend to like is when they're singing their fight song in the face of their buddy who's from a different team. Oh, there you go. So the, so the wives get to decorate the too. tables. I, yeah, I hate to be deck- sexist there, but I, d- I think that's the way it comes down. You know, I hate to be sexist too, but I don't see any male names on the list for decorating the table. <laughs> <laughs> Give you guys a paper plate. But you happy. could, guys. You could come. <laughs> and you could decorate a table too if you want to. <laughs> Your mom would be proud. So what, so are, are there only <laughs> so are they any team or does it just college teams? Is it it's all we're doing all. I have a hard time thinking all. My my daughter now has her mommy. That's what you're hearing. <laughs> yeah, see that she loves you. She's too pretty. Has blue eyes. Um. They always, I always lose my track. She's About fight husband. songs and decorating tables and to come out for the husbands. Oh, sure. And if you... Um, well, and which teams? Is, and oh, which the teams. Team. Yeah. That is where we were. See, we've got a man in the room. And exactly. He's, he's so on much, track. Right. I've got a two-year-old. I'm not getting sleep, Marion County. This is just a fact. Um, so... The um, the teams it is, I have a hard time thinking all football because my husband played college football. Uh-huh, okay. So we're a college football family. Okay. And I think there's a okay. lot of college football families showing up. But we've Which got some, team was your family behind? We, South Florida. South Florida. Gobles. He played, he was number 90, okay, defensive okay. lineman. Uh-huh, okay. Nice. Well, I didn't know that about Carl. He doesn't brag a lot. <laughs> That's my job. Well, he comes in here, and it's usually something political. <laughs> business, in business, yeah, business. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. And uh, you yourself have to be a good organizer because you have your family. You've got a husband and children. You've got family I things homeschool. to do in your homeschool. <laughs> That's, That's amazing. Yeah. But then you also have to find time for yourself to have fun and to also promote events like this in the best light possible. And you really do an excellent Thank job. You. It matters, and it's not something. It's not just for special people. Everybody can do it if you're. Listening listening and it matters to you and it touches your heart you can do this Mm -hmm. you can join us you can be a dame we've got everybody from the fanciest ladies that insist on wearing their hats they're so precious everywhere they go and sometimes i wear a hat with them just depends on the mood (laughs) really you know the business ladies that are very Mm -hmm. would never think about wearing a hat (laughs) yeah got them all they let their hair down we had a segment this morning (laughs) talking about how true old wives tales are and the one about the way to a man's heart is through his stomach apparently is true there was research done at some university. Long story short, it proves it's true. Okay. So get go to our heart right now with through food. What are you serving? What's what's on the menu? Oh, it's going to be tailgate fair. We're going to have burgers and bratwurst. Now we're talking. Now we yeah, know what you're saying. Yeah, we're going to have um, some kind of potato salad, I think. <laughs> bake. It's all the stuff you would find at a tailgate party. Uh, and so it's a very relaxed event, it's too. It's a very relaxed uh, event. Mm-hmm. And uh, the people that will attend... Uh, more than likely a few of the ladies will sign up because you the royal dames will be there and you'll be able to speak one-on-one with the other ladies that would like to join chances are you'll make a friend i showed up at my first event six years ago just mm-hmm. wanting to pay it forward and it was a tailgate i oh, showed up really? at, they've oh, had really? this is the third one that we've done it was a tailgate i showed uh-huh. up for first and i left with friends that night Oh, all right, so fabulous. we all can help make this the best tailgate ever. It's uh, a tailgate fundraiser pre- presented by the Ocala Royal Dames for Cancer Research, and it's going to be this Saturday. If you want to go, at seventy-five dollars a person. Plus, you can sponsor and decorate a table with your favorite team. And it sounds like it's kind of anything goes. Um, so you would RSVP. What is this for, Sharon? I see it on here. Sharon's name. You RSVP can, to Sharon. You can. You can do it right to her, or you can go online if you just want to buy tickets at. Uh, OcalaRoyalDames.org. And are you still looking for people to donate items for a raffle or auction or things like that? We can always add stuff to baskets, but mm-hmm. really that part is going to be fabulous. We have got so many sponsorships and so many people donating. I bet you you could show up and go away with something fabulous, and it will be a win-win-win. Oh, that'll be awesome. Music, <laughs> music, dancing, people choice for the decoration contest, horseshoes, golf chipping, and my favorite, cornhole. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you. Thank you for coming in. Uh, you came in with uh, a beautiful entourage. Thank you. Thank you, children, for coming in here today. Thank you for having so us. So homeschooling, does it start the same day as public school? Did you guys just start? I started August 1st. Oh, you start on, you, you have your own schedule. That's right. <coughs> oh, Good wow. for you. You are amazing. Thank you. You're an inspiration. <laughs> thank you, Anne. Nice thank to meet you. you. And give Carl our best. I will. Thank you. We will take a little break. Be right back.